Well, our 06 Black Dog um, is a very popular wine. Everybody loves Absolutely. Black Dog. Absolutely. And um, we're getting ready to introduce our 07 Black Dog later on this spring. Um, so I'd like to talk to you about what you see are the um, a comparison. What are the similarities and the differences, and how would you characterize these two wines? Okay, real quick. The 06 Black Dog, both of them are similar blends. They're both Cabernet Sauvignon is the dominant varietal in both of them, followed by Syrah as a secondary grape, and then Merlot. The 06 has a little bit more, or a little bit less Cabernet, and a little bit more Syrah, and the 07 has a little bit more Cabernet and a little bit less Syrah, but it's just tipping slightly. Uh -huh. What's interesting when you taste the 06 is that, because I always say go for your nose first, and what does your nose tell you? And what's fun about this one is just really pretty fruit comes out of it. The cherry, the blackberry, the um, a little bit of currants, um, some lavender, some nice spice. It's just got some really pretty, very, that's why people love this wine. They love that bistro nose, that really nice nose. And then obviously it's got a nice concentration or balance, I should say, of acid to fruit when you taste it. And it just has a real pretty, pretty uh, profile. The 07, when you first taste, when you first smell it, it's a much deeper, more complex smelling wine. Um, maybe that the fruit was a little bit more mature in the harvest time or a different, little different year weather-wise. Um, but it has sim a similar um, varietal combination like we talked about, but it's, it's definitely darker and it has a more, um, more of that smoky Syrah thing coming out of it and a little bit of a savoriness coming out of it along with the Cabernet notes that we get, the, the fruit, the blackberries. And both of them have that Cabernet, a little bit of that green, that sort of eucalyptus sort of green thing from the Cabernet. So um, they're, both, they're both very different. This, this 07 needs to be decanted. It opens up and keeps opening up, and that's the Syrah. For some reason, the Syrah is really taking hold on the 07, probably a little bit more than in the, o, in the 06. They both have it, but it's just it, the way it's opening up is beautiful. And of course, this is always a fun part after we've talked about you know, the background, the history, the origins, the aromas, and we get to taste the wine, and that's what it's all about. And, and that's what you want people to go away with as wow. And they do, these wines, both of them. I'm excited for this 07 to come out because it'll be fun for people to do, you know, vertical tastings of these two wines and you'll be able to sell them as verticals. But the 06. Just never fails to bring out that beautiful fruit, soft tannins, nice structure, medium weight. We always go back to how great it would be with those veal or duck or or um, salmon or you know just those kind of smoky medium weight foods the l7 and, and and by the way they both have what i call that temecula cabernet thing which i love that kind of green olive uh, components like often get in, in uh, the uh, temecula cabs which i love wow this one both of them, what I love about these wines is so food friendly. I, I, like, I like acid on my wines. I don't like them when they're void of acid. These have a nice balance of fruit, the earthiness. There's a little bit more earthiness in this one. Like I said, that Syrah's coming out. A little bit of that smoke, a little bit of those deeper, kind of figgy, current sort of dried fruit components. Um, nice spice on the back finish with that, that, the tannins that are real integrated. And um, again, you can step up your food a little bit on this one. Maybe the, the lamb. Uh, a little bit more grilled meats, um, a little bit darker flavors, but still you can go with the duck, the veal. They both have very similar traits to them. They're great wines.